Ever since finishing the full review for the Varla Eagle One, whenever I looked at this scooter, I envisioned making it into the dedicated off-road beast of a scooter I've always wanted. I've dabbled in off-road riding, especially with the Cabo Mantis, but the suspension on that scooter never really lent itself to handling the off-road riding I wanted to do, and the road tires that both of these scooters come with have almost no grip on even mild gravel roads. As I've mentioned before, I come from a background of mountain biking, and the prospect of being able to hit single track on an electric scooter at high speeds is the most exciting thing I could think of being able to do with an electric scooter. Little by little I have been ordering new parts and accessories and making upgrades to the Eagle One to convert it to the off-road scooter I had in mind. The suspension on this scooter is impressive and seemed perfect for the off-road riding that I wanted to do. So all that was left was to make the other upgrades and changes that I wanted to. Finally this week, the last few purchases I have made were delivered and I was able to finish installing the upgrades and take the Eagle One out on a test ride. Spoiler alert, it was jaw-droppingly fun and the Eagle One blew my expectations out of the water with its performance. Let me recap the changes and upgrades I have made to the Eagle One and the new installations and changes I made this week. Everything I mentioned will be linked down in the description if you want to pick up any of the stuff. First, while the Eagle One now ships with hydraulic brakes, my earlier model came with standard mechanical brakes. Varla hooked me up with hydraulic brakes later on and I was able to make a brake swap. Being able to have strong precision braking is important for off-road riding as you always need to be able to react to the terrain around you. Second, I made a handlebar swap to higher quality, wider mountain biking bars. Wider handlebars give me more stability and control when riding off-road, making handling bumps easier and making small changes of direction easier. Along with the new handlebars, I put on some new grips more aimed at shock absorption and cushioning my fingers and hands while riding off-road. This week I put the finishing touches on the Eagle One, first by removing the mud guards. This might seem counterintuitive, but I don't want these mud guards slapping around and making a lot of noise, and I found that the mud guards really only help with water kicking up. Dry dirt doesn't really get kicked up into my back or anything like that. I also removed the kickstand. Kickstands are super nice and not having one is quite annoying, but I wanted to streamline the Eagle One as much as possible for off-roading, and having the kickstand be something that could hit on rocks or jingle around was something I didn't want. And finally, the most important part of the off-road conversion is these new tubes and chunky tires. Varla presents the Eagle One as an off-road scooter right out of the box. While this isn't an incorrect statement, the biggest thing that holds back this scooter is the road tires that slip and slide around super easily off-road. I found some high quality thick inner tubes and chunky 10 inch by 3 inch off-road style tires. As you see in this picture, there's also another box. This was a last second purchase I made at my local bike shop that I wanted to try out. This is a foam insert intended for bike tires that acts as an extra layer of protection between the tire and inner tube to help prevent flats. I'm always looking for ways to avoid flats, hence why I've always been a big proponent of solid, honeycomb, and foam filled tires. This foam insert seemed like the perfect balance between keeping the benefits of pneumatic tires while offering the puncture protection that I always look for. Alas, it was too good to be true, as due to the smaller size of the scooter tires, the inserts took up too much space in the tire and I couldn't get the tubes in the tire with the inserts. It did, however, get the wheels in my head turning a bit about an electric scooter version of these foam inserts, and I plan on talking more about this in a future video. So with just the tubes and tires, I pressed forward and got the new wheels on after also giving the scooter a good thorough clean. If you like this grip tape cleaner I used, you will find a link to that down below in the description as well. With the Eagle One looking the best it has ever looked, it was ready for its first off-road ride. This was a good chance to see how the scooter performed before I make my way up to our family cabin this weekend and do lots more off-roading. Still have the GoPro. How's it looking? 
real comfortable like really flying on these trails but come on yeah let's go holy that was so fun Sliding around a ton, but it's handling everything so nice. The tubes I picked should be thicker than the default ones, and the tires should be thicker and harder to pop. And I kind of have to worry about pink flats. I feel myself slipping out nearly as much as when I rode this just on regular tires on the... Ooh, there's a little slip, but... <laughs> it's fun. It's gonna be fun finding kind of the limits of what this can do as far as rocks and as far as the suspension can handle. And... It's kind of like walkers and hikers on this trip. This is nice and loose. It's just slow. I've mountain biked this trail before and holy moly, even on like mountain bikes, I feel like I, the tires are constantly gonna slip out. I ate I ate it pretty bad on a mountain bike riding this exact trail. So I'm just taking a turn too fast and it's so loose. There's no sort of burns or dinks or anything go even a little bit too fast here. Tires are pumped up even a little bit too much. You get absolutely screwed by this super dry, dusty dirt. Oh, lots of 
Ja. The end of this trail, there's a nice uphill section. That's super rocky and quite steep. And I'm curious, oh, did I already do it? No way. Oh no, no, it's through, okay. No, it's through one gate. Sorry, I thought I was at the end of the trail. I was like, wait. <laughs> here we go, here it is. So this part was pretty steep uphill. I'm excited to see how this handles it. And also, my wind out here. Not the line I wanted, not the line I wanted. Totally fine. Totally fine, totally fine. Oh, it's stalling out. Oh. Nice. I handled it so well. Holy moly, this is going to be so fun actually. Post ride thoughts, this thing is awesome. Off road exceeded expectations, and I'm so stoked to keep off road riding with it. So, if you like that footage and you want to see more of that, there's going to be more. But if you really liked it, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, let me know. Because uh, that is some of the funnest riding that I can do. And as I get more comfortable and as I know what the limits of the scooter are, I can continue to uh, try new paths, try more intense level mountain biking paths, and uh, see what this guy is actually capable of. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I've been feeling just a little bit low, got to get back to the show, and we'll fly. Yeah. You don't have to feel like you're on your own.